lobster. Okay, these directions can be found on our website. You're gonna need a pencil, some drawing paper, an eraser. There's quite a few steps in this drawing, um, so I'm gonna move a little bit quickly. And uh, like I said, you can find these directions step-by-step -step on our website. All right, so let's get to drawing a lobster. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I wanna do is very lightly draw three ovals standing up on top of each other uh, to divide the paper up to make sure we give ourselves enough room to fit in all of the and three. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to draw the head of the lobster. Um, so we're going to start with the shape here inside of this middle oval. I'm going to come around where the eye sockets are and then this point here and then come back up. All right, and now on the bottom, we're going to make this little wavy line here. Okay, and now we're going to connect the middle. We want to bring the line out just a little bit bulging in the center here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mark in where the abdomen and the tail are. So we're going to go into this triangle here. I mean, I'm sorry, this oval here, and we're going to draw a rectangle. Actually, I'm going to come all the way down here. All right, so this is going to be the tail, and then down here will be the flippers. All right, so now what we're going to do is, let's draw in the flippers. So we've got the center part here, kind of comes down and out. That's the center flipper. And then we've got another, they're just basically triangles on the outer parts here. And we don't want to go too far outside of our oval, then it'll make the, the tail flipper is way too big in proportion to the rest of the body. All right, so now let's shape in the segments. There are five segments, um, or I guess hinges, joint, the jointed area where the tail comes. So we got about five, there's five sections. One, two, three, four. I'm just gonna adjust this. This is, I should have made this bigger before inside of my oval. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. And they get smaller as you get down by the bottom. All right, and then in between here, that's where the hinges are, the joints are. So I'm just making these quick little ovals in between each. Okay, so now let's start um, putting in the legs. And lobsters are um, have ten appendages. They have eight walking legs, four on each side, and then the two legs with the claws up at the top. All right, so we're going to let's divide this so we know where our center point is, and we're going to start with the second, the first and second walking leg. So just above the halfway point, we're gonna put the first walking leg here. And they have, there's like four or five segments in each of these little walking legs. And on the front two, On the front two, they have little tiny claws. Two, okay, so that's the first one, the second one, and then the third and fourth one are down here on the bottom. And these bottom two just have these little kind of pointy Okay, 
so now what we're going to do is we are going to add in the big large claws all right so one side is going to have a crusher claw on it and the other side is going to have a pincher it doesn't matter a lobster it, they can go either way the crusher could be on the left or it could be on the right okay so what we're gonna do is kind of just make a triangle with an oval on the top of it so this is going to be where all the knuckles are and this is the claw and one side one claw is narrower that's the pincher pin, the pincher claw and the other one is the crusher claw and that one is going to be much all right, so notice I'm not going past this oval. I left myself enough space. All right, so each of these arms, there are five segments, and you could really only see about four of them when they're crawling, because the other one is underneath, tucked into the body. So let's, and then just these kind of uh, oddly shaped, kind of like a, you know, a little bit of a square shape. All right, and then the, Pincher claw, and you're gonna make like a let's see, let's J. Close that off. That's our pincher claw. This is the other part. The other claw. So again on this side. So the first one here is more of a square, and then this one is kind of flares out. a big C or a crescent and then this part here on the crusher is much much bigger okay and now we need to add the eyes so let's just bring this up a little bit more and the eyes are on these little I really want to change just a little bit here I'm not liking the angle much pointier than that. All right, so now we got the eyes in, and then they have two antenna, antenna, antenna loo. <laughs> I can't say it right. Small little antenna. Two sets on either side, and then there's the long and narrow the top end of this guy. Extend these arms a little bit. Okay, so there you have it. Here's your lobster. Now what you can do, you continue on shading or you can color this in and have fun. This part here, the antenna, we gotta make sure that we get rid of these lines underneath. So it looks like the claw is underneath the antenna. Okay, so there's your lobster. I'm just gonna go ahead and start shading everything in and enjoy myself. So in these little crevices, you really wanna make it heavily shaded, much darker. Just press a little bit more on your pencil. And you can also hold your pencil. If you pick it up this way, you could also shade with the edge of the lead, or the point, I should say. Date myself. Use your finger as a blending tool. Lobsters like to crawl around on the bottom of the seafloor uh, in search of their food. And like a lot of people believe that lobsters are basically just scavengers and that's not true. They do scavenge on a fresh kill, um, 
I'm not gonna pass that up, but they're not gonna scavenge on old, dead, decaying, rotting fish. They like mollusks, you know, like mussels and clams, oysters, things like that. They also eat other crustaceans and small fish and even some forms of algae they'll eat. Lots of different browns and greenish browns, orangey browns, reddish browns. In their little hinges here, there's often whites and blues in there. There's also a very rare lobster, the blue lobster. Um, it's a genetic defect that causes the lobster to be completely blue. And they say it's about one in two million lobsters are blue. My family and I, we were once uh, visiting family on Fisher's Island, New York, um, and we were down on one of the docks crabbing, and my daughter, on her line, my youngest daughter, on her line she had a blue lobster and we tried so desperately to get it up, but we were unsuccessful. But it was so beautiful and really, really neat to see this lobster hanging out underneath the dock. All right, on to these little walking legs. So if a lobster, for some reason, loses a leg or a claw or one of its antenna, it will grow back. your favorite way of having lobster cooked. I really enjoy it right on the barbecue. Just throw it on the barbecue, some corn, some clams. I also really enjoy them stuffed. scallop or fluke in the inside, some breadcrumb, some Parmesan cheese, a little bit of lemon. Delish. All right, so you can spend a lot, a lot of time adding the detail all the little nooks and crannies and the little spikes they have all over the place. I didn't really put any of them on there. Let me just throw some in here really quick. And so, there you have it, my friends. I'm just going back in really quick and adding some really dark lines just to make it pop a little bit more and then I'm gonna hit it again with my eraser okay that makes me a little bit 
happier.